She realized that this was the best league in the world with the best athletes in the world. And when she graduated, she was a walk-on, uh, a training camp player. Now I know that we have about 100 and I guess 60 folks here today. Um, all of you will not make the squad. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to make the team. I didn't know they had zero intentions of keeping me. I didn't know that. So every day what I did know is there's only a certain amount of spots and that my approach was not today. I'm going to make it impossible for you to cut me today. Johnson, her pull-up shot goes. Vicky, one of her best friends ever, and Teresa Witherspoon run that team. So they had two guards that were all NBA caliber, and the general manager kept saying to the coach every day, when are you going to cut her? Finally, after a week, Richie Adubato said, I will cut her when she misses a shot. To be honest, I didn't know her name or anything. I, didn't, I just said the little white girl. I, I love the little white girl because she was tough. I hit her a couple times, knocked her down, and she got back up. I was showing up, I was doing the work, I was getting knocked down, not saying a word, just going about my business um, and trying to do the best that I could every day. On the last day of training camp, Teresa Weatherspoon walked in and Becky was not there. And she went into management and said, you should not have cut that little girl. She is good enough to play in this league. You should not have cut her. And said, no, she just had a dentist appointment today. And down the lane, Becky spin and in. My talent is not what got me to the WNBA. In here is what got me a 16 year career. In here is what got me a 16 year career. At my height, not being drafted, being the slowest player on the court probably every night. I had to do it different. It's not about what people say, it's about what she, she brings to the table. The way she worked um, day in and day out, uh, she didn't want to just be given anything. She wanted to work for everything. She adapted and she learned to play and at the beginning of the season, She's only coming in for three or four minutes every game, four or five minutes the middle of the season. She's getting 10 minutes a game. But by the end of the season in playoffs, she was getting 20 minutes, and when the game was on the line, she was in the lineup. Hammond takes it to the line. What a move! But she's been doing that all postseason. She was so crafty, just being very creative with her shots, and I always wondered, like, how is she able to do that? You know, you watch her go in, you're like, oh boy, this is going to be a block. And then she would just get her shot off. So I think she developed this craft about her and it made her into who she was. She is one of, of the best that's played in our league. And when you look at what Beck's able to do out there in the court, so many young girls will see that and really believe that they're capable of greatness too.